Hi, my name is Karen Boniker, Painter Master, and I'd like to introduce you to the new Coral Reef Brush Pack for Painter Essentials. And real quickly, I'm going to show you how or some of the ways that you can use these really creative brushes, especially if you're planning on painting a seascape or painting a coral reef. And you can see here that I've developed a little bit of a painting and I want to add some more elements to it. So I'm going to use this brush pack to show you how to work with these brushes. The first brush we're going to work with is called Anemone. And again, this brush would be great for creating the look of, of the sea anemone. And the way that you would want to work with this brush is to just simply go in a very soft, use very soft pressure and in a circular fashion and you'll start to reveal these little sea anemone shapes. Soft pressure and you can start to see the little spines starting to develop there. And of course you can sample other colors and put, you know, add anemones wherever you want to. This, was, this would be a good brush for creating the sea and enemy. The next brush is called bottom and for that I'm going to sample kind of a sandy bottom color and we're just going to put that right in towards the bottom of the painting and you can see that it's highly textured. I like the effect of this because it shows the a little bit of disturbance as if the ocean currents were playing with the sand on the bottom and moving the sand around. So we'll just go ahead and add a nice sandy bottom here. Then uh, the next brush is called Coral. And this brush I'll use my Alt key to sample color. And I like to use this just to develop the coral um, further and to take it to another level. So I'll kind of sample colors as I'm going through here. You can see that it's very highly textured and maybe some of this nice pink and we'll develop that and it's a, just a fun brush for creating that look of coral on the reefs. A lot of times if you show these nice strong contrasts between light and dark you get the best effect. This brush is Add, starts to add some three-dimensionality quality to the piece. Okay, the next brush we're going to look at is called Currents. And this one you would use if you wanted to maybe disturb the bottom a little bit. Just a few little brush strokes will do that. So it's, it's going to disturb pixels that are already on the canvas. So on any layer that you're working on that has paint on it, you can use that to blend the paint around. The next brush is called Eels. So we'll add an eel right here. And you just want to put firm pressure and then just pull out. And you'll create these nice little shapes of moray eels throughout your coral reef. The next brush is called Fan. And this is one of my favorites in the brush set. Uh, again, I use it by sampling the color, the existing colors, and then all you want to do is apply medium pressure to the brush and let it just create these beautiful little fan shapes. Very, very lacy, very soft. So that would be like a little sea fan on a coral reef. The next brush is kelp and for that we'll sample some nice brown values here and go from light to dark. I'm going to start at the top and just pull down 
and just let it get very expressive. And you don't have to go overboard with this. Just add a few to add some more interest to the painting. Um, the next brush is called Scales, and this is a real nice brush for creating uh, design elements. Scales. And with this brush, you'll basically just simply tap, and you can see the design that starts to appear here. Very nice pattern, like a fish scale. And again, it can add some interesting visual texture to your piece. The next brush is Seagrass, and again for this we'll sample kind of a nice green value here, and then towards the bottom and uh, with a upward brush stroke, very soft pressure, and you'll get a very grassy effect here. And the final brush for Painter Essentials is called Sea Life. And this one I use to create the look of a little shrimp or small little fish. And it's just a matter of putting a quick flick of the wrist, so to speak, just a quick stroke and you'll get this little look of a little fish. And it's always fun to just put them in little parts of, you know, hiding places within the painting. Put some in different directions. And of course you could use all kinds of colors here for your fish. Okay, so that is the new brush pack for Painter Essentials called Coral Reef. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.